Okay, being a black folks, and basically everybody needs to stay calm because this is not the first time that we've seen this happen. Okay, yes, solar weather, there is a huge solar storm going on. And what a solar weather is? Electrical. It's light propagation from outer space, deep outer space. Plus, also, there's been pretty good evidence when we watch Sechi and Soho and support. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the cursor out of the way so that the player button will go by. But this is 2-12, uh, the 23rd, and it's January 23rd. Right there you go, your date. It's January 23rd, 2012. Pretty much shows the whole day. Uh, this is not the first time. There has been plenty of people over the years in uh, looking at, ever since Soho was up, like, I think, 20 in year 2002 or 2003 it went up there now the most interesting thing is is we do know that possibly the sun went into the supergiants well, I'm trying to nail it down but it probably was in the supergiants before 2002-2003 when Soho first started seeing this now uh, I want to give a big thanks out to BP because basically uh, he's the one that first saw this uh, and it's just basically we have seen this before now uh, electrical energy the CMEs is charging things up also ie on earth th there is on space we do know that they know that certain stars they've done measurements and they do know that some stars are radioactive and then they change colors like we've we scientists know down here on earth that what we've seen over at fudge up most people that have paid attention to scientists in the past and nuclear research that Nuclear burns like red, blue, green, and sometimes, I mean, a bypass put off all colors of the rainbow, but the I, the fact is, it's factual, okay, no idea, factual, that we see some stars burn like that, and they've done tests, and they've found radioactivity. And we've also seen whether it was uh, propaganda, psyop, bullshit on Nehemiah Station. I think it was but the idea that I am... I do believe that there's possibly been certain times they don't stand outside that much and yes it's cold down there but there may be some radioactivity that's coming off of whatever supergiant sun and it's basically just an object from space it's a star a sun from space whether it comes from the supergiants or not and I'm not trying to correct myself because I figured out that the idea that it's not a supergiant star still believe it's a supergiant star but we are in a time clock in space. And as you can see, even though they're having this solar deal with the idea that even though the camera will CME on certain things, there are still overlays and stuff that they are cutting out on the camera shots on these. on these. Okay? So if you go and watch, you are going to see certain – on the blue one, you're going to see overlay. Now, on the red one, you don't see overlay that much because the idea that it – on the red color, they're able to hide it a lot better. When they do the blue on whatever, I think it's usually a head, they uh, can cut out a lot of stuff. I mean, they can do it on any shot, but you notice it on color variation on the eight shots. Okay? So this stuff's going on, and you've seen the one just getting up. They cut my video short, a glitch. Okay? Because normally you can just click, and you can go and stop and record and so forth. When I clicked, it just loaded, and that's been on the last two videos, okay? And supervisor control and, and data acquisition, yes, they always have control of your, they're going to be able to always control what you video and put up and or what you're going to watch also. Regions of the countries I and mean, also regions of the world, you're only going to see what they want you to see in your region, okay? And then that's another thing is when you see some crazy stuff, you cannot let them use fear for their advantage on you because the idea that people control, ladies and gentlemen, they want people pissed off at each other all the time, different groups, and they also want fear in everybody so that the people that are not calm and in control are not in control. And the only people that are in control is the people that always know that there's nothing out there going to hurt you, there's nothing out there going to kill you. Now that's not. If someone's got it out for you, yeah, they possibly could. But it usually takes a group to pull something like that off. It's pretty hard to do, ladies and gentlemen. There's plenty of satellites in the sky looking down on us here on Earth. 
keep an eye. That's why tons of people get caught doing stuff anymore these days, okay? So, looking up here in space, this is all real. This has happened before. Uh, I'm not sure the intent we've caught on, because 2001, 2, 3, somewhere in there is when they put it up. Because, i.e., just like the satellite that we caught Soho catching on their other satellite, and we know that it hooked up way before going around the moon, and then they said all oh, dramatic that it hooked up here and there and everything like that. Whatever. We've seen it. It was already hooked up. Uh, this stuff's happening out there in space. So let me take you to Sechi, the other ones, and see the difference. And you'll see overlay, okay? Because you see the date, right? The 23rd. And now I haven't been able to pull the 23rd up yet. I'll try to pull it up, and we'll see if we can get it in this video. But I think the 23rd's not going to load yet, especially since this is going on. Okay? Because he was already mentioned that he was having... And then once he got in, and I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. And then everybody that's discussed astronomers and uh, so forth and so on, and watch the clock. Now you can see that I don't have it going hella fast. Now it's just a. It goes through a 23 hour period, or something like that. Now you will see the actual sun, and then you be big as you see as far as that solar storm. You see this coming in, okay? So there is a huge, have you seen that coming in? That's not CME, folks. That's, if that is, that's a CME from another sun. Like, I have mentioned that the idea that they do know that they have found suns up behind Uranus, okay? The objects, the meatball, and everything that's between us and Uranus and stuff on our back door most of the time, and when Jupiter's behind the Earth on the dark side, usually, and not overall on the, on the bright side in front of Earth, where the sun's at the majority, on our back door, the dark side, away from the sun and the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, there are suns. So now what is electronically connecting or communicating? Because you can see this coming through this, the space, folks. This is millions of miles, almost billions of miles, and it's coming trillions of miles and zillions of miles from outer space. And that's not coming off of the sun and going out. You can see it. If you slow it down, it's coming in. Okay? And the supergiants are to the left. Okay? And we have radioactivity atoms on Earth, and the, the volcanoes over in Japan are reacting from the radioactivity that's coming from outer space. And you can see the aurora and our signature through space and the idea that the northern lights, the dramatic and very dramatic, what's going to pop through our atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. And we already have leakage. We have eddies. I'm an electrician. Because we've got stuff going to ground all over the place, okay? Communications, I've been in contact with people that work with phone companies in certain areas of the country. They've been working hell hours and stuff is going to ground. That's not good. And also, we have electrical outages in certain parts of the country also from these CMEs, okay? And it's been going on for a couple months now, okay? And it's nothing to fear. They're always going to be able to catch up with it and reset the breakers, this and that, whatever. If anything, invest in an electrical company. Because no matter what, you got to keep the lights on. Whether And I'm not trying to say the sun's going to go by it because it's not. But if we ended up with a dimmer sun, what would you want to be in the money into? Electrical companies, yes. And we know who did the, or basically was the seller of, but Japan, the royal family is the one that did it to Japan, folks. They knew they had an earthquake area, volcanic, heavy volcanic, and they ended up putting what they put in for electrical power. They put nuclear in. Okay, now we go to... Uh, the other shot off the 22nd. I'm just going to pop this video, the 21st. Sorry about that, folks. This stuff's coming from the 21st. I'll see if I can get the 22nd. I think I tried the 22nd and I didn't get it, so I just wanted to take a look and see what we get. So as you see here, the, the sun is just like Niagara Fall as far as CME. Now, I've explained to you the sewer giants, and you can see that it's not just the sun. And as you've seen on the one just previous to this, the B behind... You can see the lights going on and off. It would be just like a couple of suns rubbing against each other. I really believe that we have Rigel Cantaris A that is really the last data that I was able to show you in my, my videos and all, so that I was in and I'll go look at it again. But Rigel Cantaris A is the closest thing to the sun as far as a sun that's huge, okay? And I believe, I know for damn sure that it's 1.1 the size of the sun. So it's a little bit bigger than the sun. And there is 100 stars in the supergiants that are 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. And even forgetting the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, 
as far as the meatball is concerned, there is an object that is 747 times the size of the sun in space that's been found. Okay. Now, tons of this stuff is totally huge distance apart from each other. But Rigel Cantaris A earlier this year was hella farther away from the sun than what it was recorded at earlier this within the last three weeks when I went and checked the data last time and I put it in one of my videos. Okay. And I'll see if I can fit it in on the end of this video of whereabouts where I get that information at. The number one thing is to watch super, the panties off the Super Giants 1 and the panties off the Super Giants 2. Now, panties off the Super Giants 1 is just panties off the Super Giants. Panties off the Super Giants 2, and that's a lot of stuff for the Super Giants to get you to understand what's going on out there in space. And that the sun is in the Super Giants, and it is one of 101 suns in the Super Giants, okay? And this is the sun getting hits ass kicked or kicking somebody else's ass up there because it is ushing out like Niagara Falls. Okay, now I can make you calm down when you look at Earth here because I'll, I'll pop out. Now, first off, check out and you'll see Earth, Mars, and I'm still wondering about Mars because we do know that we proved that Mars is the one that got the big old whammo, okay? And I'm getting sick of making anybody think, and see, that's what I'm pissed about, to make anybody think that they could live on Mars. You can't. You'll burn like in fuego. Okay, because we know that we showed Mars get zapped. Now, you can notice it on a lot on the very unusual planets up here, because this is a day time lapse, folks. We have yeah, I've pumped up to a thousand of folks, and since the idea that the sun is a lot brighter now, that we are starting to see some stuff in space, that we're getting a lot more signature of what stuff looks like. And it's very unusual looking, and basically, you'll see the electrical energy. I'm pumped up to a thousand, and you will see. If the screen calms down, and usually when I've recorded, it looks like it's jumping a lot on my screen, and it's calmer when you get the video. And I think they, the YouTube, whatever, they got good software. It takes the jitter out. Okay. So as this is going through the laps, you can end up if you watch, you'll end up seeing. Watch this coronal of those objects, and you'll see electrical energy on stars, especially like if you watch this star here, and we can move down and hit some other stars. And you'll see the electrical energy going on in space within just a day, with the sun pumping like the way it's pumping. Okay, pumping exactly like. And I'll pop out of here to make sure I think I make sure I show the timer. Okay, it's pumping on the twenty on the twenty first. Okay, and I had showed you in the past. I've showed you the I, the factual that the super giants, the part one part of the leg is right here, the beginning of it. Okay, because we know that Jupiter, which Venus looks huge because it's close to the camera right now. Jupiter would be the biggest thing that would almost look, you normally look like Venus. And if it was here close, you would see it huge, okay? Then the idea that these other planets factually are huge, okay? And we only know that from the supergiants, this stuff down here. This is supergiants, okay? And don't let this stuff throw you off. That is the blocker on the arm of the satellite that basically blocks out the sun here's glare so it can get this shot, okay? And yes, it's a feature of the satellite, but it, it's... They use it basically as a blocker to be able to get this shot, okay? Because the sun's in the well in this black hole, and yes, it's part of the satellite, but it blocks out the sun because that's where the sun is, okay? And it leaks over to the Earth and what gives feeds us sunlight. But also, we get light from the supergiants, which I've proved and showed to you. I eat the last video, and I've got a favorite on my channel. If you go to the, there's some guy down in I think Chile or whatever country it was that got the two suns coming up, okay? So people are noticing in other countries where they don't chemtrail that much, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Okay, so this is no fake bake. There's electrical storms going on, and basically electrical storm would mean light propagation, okay? Low voltage electrical. But as this stuff would come down to Earth, hit anything that's got an electrical wireless system in satellites so forth, we've got shit storm out there, okay? Now, as you can see, a lot of this smaller electrical propagation like this does not bother the satellites, okay? When they get the big El Fuegos from the sun, when they get the big solar burst like that C9 or whatever, uh, that is very important stuff to watch out for. And we want to thank BP for that video there. He's got standard YouTube. Promote him as much as I'll put his name on, the, on this one because he's the one that sniffed it out and see what's going on. I'll see if I can pop in and get the 22nd real fast here. And yes, folks, I agree with the person, CP91311. Now, protons, they are electrical protons, neutrons, electrons, okay? So that's what's going on in space, okay? This guy says that it basically calls in and says that that's what it is. Uh, basically, we have electrical activity, no matter whether it's nuclear or 
conventional, regular DC natural, okay? Uh, or it gets worse before it gets better.